What up, peoples? Bidye is my name, and I'm here to talk about how to buy and sell cryptocurrency on Coinbase. This is Tech Society. So if you're new to the world of cryptocurrency, you might have asked yourself, well, how do I go ahead and buy and sell cryptocurrency if I don't know where to begin? For many beginners, this is one of the best places to go, Coinbase.com. It's very easy, it's very fast, and very secure. The first thing you want to do is go to Coinbase.com. After you go to Coinbase.com, you'll see that this web page pops up right behind me. At this point, you would go to where this box says email address and go ahead and fill out your email address. Just like so. After you filled out your email address, you wanna hit get started. This pop-up will show up after this point. It says create an account. In this box, you'll say first name. This box will be your last name, your email, a very secure password, and you want to say your location. After that, at this point, Coinbase wants to make sure that you are an adult. So after you see that I certify that I am 18 years of age or older and agree to the terms and conditions, you want to click on this box like so, and hit create an account. Go ahead to your email inbox where you filled out the information on Coinbase. After that, this email will pop up. It'll ask you to verify your email address. That way, Coinbase can make sure that it's actually you that's trying to create an account. So, after you verify your email address, a window will open up from Coinbase asking you to set up a two-step verification. It'll ask you to put in your phone number in this box right here. This is to make sure that you are linked with your phone and your email on Coinbase.com. So the next step in this process is to fill out your phone number just like so. At this point, it'll send you a code to your phone number that you've listed in here click on send code and then this box will pop up it'll ask you to enter a seven digit code that they just sent to your phone go ahead and do that right here just like so if you have not gotten a code you may want to hit resend text message or use another phone number these are different options just in case you have not gotten that code to your phone once you've done so, go ahead and click Submit. The next thing that Coinbase will ask you to do is to verify your identity. In this box, they'll ask you to put in your first name, your last name, then you wanna enter your date of birth, your street address, what you'll use Coinbase for, the source of funds, your employment status, and the last four digits of your social security number. After you've done so, it'll take you back to the home page of Coinbase where you have to sign in to get started. Once you've filled out your email address and your password, go ahead and hit sign in. After you've signed in, you'll see this page right here. There are many different options on what you can do on Coinbase, including go to your home page your portfolio, prices, if you want to invite any friends, if you want to trade, the alerts that you may have, as well as your profile over here. In this box, you'll see your portfolio balance. In this box right here, you can invite any friends to Coinbase and you both get $10. Enter in any email addresses of any friends that you want to invite and hit send invites and then you would both get $10 each. This box down here shows your watch list. So if you have any favorite coins that you're trying to keep tabs on, like Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP, it'll show up down here. 
the more you put in, the more it'll show. So the next thing that we're gonna go and do is go to prices. After you've clicked on prices, this page will show up. It shows the cryptocurrency that you have, the balance of it, as well as the current price when you've logged in. This chart shows for the past 24 hours, and then you can see any other pertinent information that you may need to know. If I want to buy, sell, or convert any cryptocurrency, this would be the page to do it right here. And let's say I want to buy $10. I'm going to put in $10 in this box right here. And let's say I want to make sure that it's Bitcoin that I want to purchase. You would click on this box and then you can see that you have Bitcoin or Ethereum, Litecoin, anything in this drop down menu is what you can buy right here from the homepage of Coinbase. But for this purpose, I'm just gonna buy Bitcoin. And I wanna make sure that I'm paying with the right account. So I'm gonna fill in my bank account information right here. If I want to add another account, I can do so at any time. If I were to click on add another account, it gives me these options of adding a bank account or adding a debit card, which you can click on right here. Next we'll show is the preview of your buy. So if I'm trying to buy $10 worth of Bitcoin, it shows me how much Bitcoin I'm going to get, how I'm gonna pay for it, the price at the time, the purchase amount of what I'm actually getting, a fee from Coinbase, if there pertains to be any, as well as the total. So if you're trying to buy $10 from Coinbase, you'll see that they subtract the fee from that amount. So you're actually getting $9 out of the $10 that you originally put in. Now this Coinbase fee will actually be a lot lower ratio wise, the more that you buy. But because I'm only putting in $10, this fee may seem pretty high, but you can put in different amounts depending on, and you'll get a different Coinbase fee uh, ratio wise. I hit buy now. And that's it. Very simple. So if I'm going to go to my portfolio, this is where it shows any transactions that have been made, whether I've received or sent any Bitcoin. At this point, you'll notice that my wallet balance shows up right here. Any transactions that I've made will be right, right here. And then I can send or receive any Bitcoin from these boxes. If I want to send, this pops up. It shows the Bitcoin address that you, the wallet address that I'm going to be sending it to. If I want to do it by email, I can do that as well. This is the box where you would put in your recipient. Make sure that these numbers and letters are accurate. If not, you may lose those funds. So it'll show you that this is the Bitcoin wallet that you have currently and how much you can send. If you fill in this information where it says amount for USD or Bitcoin, it'll fill in the other amount that's equal to it. And if I want to receive any Bitcoin, this window pops up just right here. And if I want to receive any Bitcoin, this window pops up. It says be sure to select the right cryptocurrency. If you send crypto to the wrong address, like Bitcoin to a Bitcoin cash address, your crypto will be lost. So make sure that if you're sending any crypto, like Bitcoin, you're sending only Bitcoin to a Bitcoin wallet or Ethereum to an Ethereum wallet. Otherwise, you may lose it. You hit I understand. And then this window pops up showing your QR code for your wallet address, or it has the wallet address right here in this box that you can copy and send to anybody that's trying to send you any Bitcoin. It's that simple. All you gotta do is just follow these steps and you're on your way to using Coinbase easily. I hope that gives you a good idea of how to use Coinbase. My name is Birye. 
So until next time, stay bullish.